Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is the morning market preparation video for July 21st, 2020. So yesterday we just had a tremendous push in the tech sector. As a matter of fact, it was literally the techs that lifted the big giants that lifted the indexes um, yesterday and sending the NASDAQ to new record highs. So what does that mean for today? Well, how about we settle in, buckle up, and let's get ready for the Tuesday edition of the morning market prep video. So this morning, everyone, we have a um, pretty bullish market across the board, um, and it's all fueled up by lots and lots and lots of talk of government stimulus. If you've paid attention to the news um, sometime during the night while we were sleeping, um, European leaders came to a deal on their what they're calling recovery plan but it really is nothing more than a government stimulus uh, check being written for 858 billion dollars um, that'd be u.s dollars conversion um, and it looks like that is moving forward. Of course, that is pumping up um, European markets this morning. And of course, we've heard all of the news that not to be outdone, the US is working on a deal that will top a trillion dollars. So, um, you know, continue to spend um, while our infection numbers continue to rise, hospitalizations rise, and death toll continues to rise. None of that matters as long as we keep writing government debt to buy up the market. And right now it's working because what we're seeing is futures pushing the markets higher here this morning. It's pretty darn remarkable what's going on right now. Sometimes I feel like I'm inside a twilight zone episode as we continue to just push and push and push these markets higher. There seems to be no limit to what people are willing to pay for stocks. Many stocks yesterday hit all-time record highs and there was a ravenous desire to continue to buy them even at those record high numbers. So that's the market that we're in. Let's take a look at the technicals here in the chart, see if we can glean anything from this. What we see right now is we have a trend going on here. And if I extend that on through here, we have a trend in the Dow and we've done this nice little resting consolidation pullback. This morning we are popping up this morning. Dow futures this morning are indicating um, almost a 200 point pop um, in the morning open. We will still have the trouble here on the Dow of challenge, being challenged by that um, island reversal top in the chart. But I'm not sure, well, with all of this government stimulus, um, I'm not sure that will actually hold as resistance. But watch that. We're gapping up um, into this area here this morning. We'll be running up there to test that resistance high. Um, it's buy, buy, buy all the time. Now, keep in mind, we still have this downtrend that we're trying to to contend with and we will be pushing the limits of that this morning as we try to lift up here in the market. Let's take a look at the um, moving averages. You can see our moving averages continuing to rise, our 50-day moving average continuing to lift and we could soon be pushing that up over the 500 and the 200-day moving averages. So um, bullishness everywhere as long as we continue to write debt in the government. Let's take a look at the SPY, SPY. SPY powering higher. Yesterday we challenged the, uh, the breakout of that island reversal and just uh, we closed right about right there. Had a little selling right at the close um, to hold it right there at the top of that island rever reversal area. But this morning we're going to gap higher. Um, all bulls all the time on this move right now as long as we continue to print 
money and keep those printing presses going, the market is happy, happy, happy. So we're breaking this overall downtrend here in the market. And we do have a bullish pattern here that set up yesterday and that is following through to the upsides this morning. So keep a close eye on that. All bulls here in the SPY, everything is pushing up. Let's take a look at the NASDAQ. The NASDAQ hit all the new record highs with a big push in Microsoft, Amazon, Apple, uh, Facebook even after learning that um, they lost a big chunk of revenue from Disney pushed higher yesterday um, and Google all of those companies the big f uh, five lifted the market as a matter of fact the majority of the lift in the Dow yesterday was just Apple and Microsoft. They pretty much on their own lifted the Dow to new highs um, yesterday or to those high prints yesterday. So QQQ at new highs, we're gonna set new records here at the open on a gap up. Um, no price too high for some of these big techs. Um, even ahead of their earnings, um, everyone seems to just have a ravenous desire to buy up these um, stocks that are at all-time highs. Let's take a look at uh, moving averages here. They're just nothing but bullish. All the way up, just bulls, bulls, bulls everywhere, pushing to the upside. Let's take a look at um, um, IWM. IWM struggled a little bit more yesterday than the other indexes. We continued to dance around that 200-day moving average, but you can see this morning we're gapping up this morning. Everything's responding higher um, on the, the deficit spending that we're looking at doing. So um, picking up and pushing up toward that 500 day. This still has that challenge of that 500 day, but we may actually be able to break out looks like we have that opportunity we could break out of that overall downtrend here in IWM so watch that closely as we continue to rise here in the market let's take a look at the VIX our VIX continues to fall so we finally broke through and confidently broke down through that 200 day moving average we have tons and tons of confidence that we can buy our way out of this virus situation apparently and we are doing it so breaking down fear falling yesterday breaking down holding that downtrend continuing to decline and as you can see we are now headed into kind of the next level of price supports um, in that chart and I would suggest here let me uh, move a couple lines around that could be right down in here just above that 500 day moving average in the chart so a push down into that 20 handle 21 handle would be the next possibility here in the VIX um, so fear dropping out of the market let's take a look at T2122 T2122 the four-week new high new low ratio you can see we pulled back a little bit yesterday and the reason we pull back while the markets were making new highs is the majority of stocks declined yesterday majority of stocks pulled back but the big tax led us to a new breakout and so that pushed um, well that allowed t2122 to pull back a little bit now this morning I suspect on this gap up open we're going to see um, uh, this T2122 up in here in the bearish reversal zone again. I'm not sure that's going to matter as long as we continue to print, but we'll want to watch that pretty closely as as that moves along. Right now, um, big gap up open as we continue to print. So let's keep an eye on that this morning. Let's take a look at our economic calendar for today. And we have an extremely light economic calendar for today with really nothing on it to move us around whatsoever. Um, let's take a look. There's really nothing in here that's likely to move us today on that economic ca calendar. So what that means is we're going to continue to be fueled up by uh, government stimulus news reports and um, the earnings numbers that continue to roll out. What's interesting is we're seeing, uh, like UBS has already reported this morning, they reported a 12% a decline in um, their numbers this morning in uh, credit losses. 
and the stock has indicated higher this morning. Coca-Cola reported a 33% decline in sales last quarter, but they said that they believe um, demand is starting to increase. Um, and so we're indicated higher here this morning on Coca-Cola as well. So right now, it doesn't seem to matter. It doesn't seem to matter that we're producing less in earnings than we have in the past. We're pricing these stocks higher um, no matter what. So right now, Coke trying to move up this morning. So on that earnings front today, we have about 43 companies reporting earnings and we have several notables, um, obviously two of them already, UBS and Coca-Cola already out. We have um, Railroad, CNI will be reporting today. Canadian Railroads, you can see a wide bid-ass spread here on that. Um, so far this morning, waiting for that. COF. COF is reporting this morning. It looks like we don't have a report here just yet. Um, it looks like we're about we're going to open about where we closed at least at the moment until that comes out. CMA is another notable this morning, gapping up just slightly this morning um, on its report. IBKR, whoops, IBKR. I think it's IBRK. No, I've got a bad ticker in my report. I'm going to have to fix that this morning. ISRG, ISRG um, reporting today. Um, looks like it is moving higher. Now, I can't really tell you if that is a, a combination of um, just the bullishness this morning or if it has already reported. So keep an eye on that. IRBT reporting this morning. Um, we'll want to keep an eye on that. It looks like right now it's set to open about where it closed yesterday. Logitech um, will be reporting today. This has been a tremendous run in Logitech and you can see we're looking at a gap up open this morning on that. Um, and a V I Navis um, nope and N A V I. Yeah, there we go. Um, they are reporting today and just a wide bid ass spread, no report here just yet. Not sure where that's gonna come in. Philip Morris is reporting today. Looks like they're looking at a little gap up this morning, a little white on the bid ass spread, but a little bullishness coming into that this morning. Uh, PLD. PLD is gapping up this morning, pushing up here into these highs of the chart. So keep an eye on that. Must have been a positive report. Pushing up here, we've got Snap reporting this morning. They are also gapping up, looks like right into here, maybe trying to test some highs in the chart. SYF is also one of those notables this morning. This one is gapping down. Looks like we're gonna test a little bit of price support in SYF. TER reporting this morning and another bullish move here, breaking out here on Teradyne. Uh, moving higher here this morning. T keep an eye on that one. Uh, Texas Instruments reporting this morning. Looks like they are, well, wide bid-ass spread here. Nothing yet, but maybe indicating higher just simply because of the bullishness in the market. So that's a few of those um, notables this morning to pay attention to. So with that, let's take a look at some stocks that could be setting up. But before we do that, guys, if you could do me a favor, if you could click that subscribe button on YouTube and also click that bell icon um, when it pops up so that you can be notified every time I post one of these videos. And remember, guys, that um, when we look at these stocks that, that could be setting up, that there is no recommendation here to buy or sell any security. You have to do your own due diligence. Make sure you're planning your trading carefully. And I think it's really important as we continue to race higher in the market to remain really, really focused and flexible because we have seen several times already we've had proof of this several times that if we happen to catch a bad report or a news event we can reverse this
this market very, very quickly. So be always on the ball on these trades because some of these are extended and really stretched out and could really um, create some damage here um, if a quick reversal were to occur. So stay on your toes in any of these stocks that I happen to bring up today. So first off, I'm gonna bring up Coke. Hey, Coke, popping up. We had a... Um, 33% decline in sales last quarter, but nobody cares. Coke is moving higher. I've got a price alert on that chart, and I've been watching this for that possibility. So popping out here, I may be looking uh, for a potential entry in a Coke, depending on how it reacts today. Watching that closely, we have a nice little W pattern here breaking through the center line of that high and holding, and now we're seeing bulls pushing that on through to the upside. So Coca-Cola may be an opportunity today. Take a look at a WDC. Now, WDC, Western Digital, um, has yet to report, but you can see we've broke the downtrend, popped up here, and we're holding in this area. Now, this, bullish, this bullishness this morning may be pushing that on through to the upside. Keep an eye on that. I would place the next target up here, not too much higher, but the next target as we run into some price resistance on that chart. WDC, nice little setup here in that trade. McDonald's is setting up exactly the same way. MCD breaking the downtrend, pushing up, holding support, and holding this trend. As you can see, a nice little trend here in that chart. So the bullishness this morning pushing this higher. It looks like this could alert today, popping on through. We'll want to keep an eye on that. Just keep in mind, this is going to report in the next few days. So be aware of that. Um, this morning. Clorox continues to show lots and lots of strength here and this one kind of makes sense in um, COVID land as we continue to look for um, ways to sanitize and protect ourselves against the virus. Nice little consolidating move holding on to that trend beautifully and if we can catch any bullishness in here popping that out for an upside move. You can also take a look at some of the automakers. General Motors. General Motors pulled back yesterday, but as you can see, there's that downtrend break again, and there's that pattern where we break above some resistance in the chart. We are pulling back to test it as support, but if we can get some bullishness coming in here, holding that support, we may have that opportunity to start pushing that higher. Keep an eye on GM. Um, also saw some bullishness, uh, potential bullishness in Ford. Ford um, brought out their new Bronco and that seemed to garner quite a little bit of energy here in the market and rallying up and we're getting that little pullback so let's watch that in here if we can pick up some price support maybe through this area hold that in here there may be the opportunity for an upside move here in that chart um, as you guys know I've been paying attention here to um, Cisco as a matter of fact I own a position in Cisco Cisco has been really unimpressive here lately. Um, even as tech has been moving, Cisco has been really unimpressive. Even though they provided um, good guidance forward, um, it's just been underloved. And as you can see in this consolidating move, well, this morning the bullishness is helping us here on this trade. And you can see popping up just a little bit. I would look for a test up here pretty soon. What we need, obviously, is we need uh, that to break out of that level hold, and then we have some good upside potential in that trade. So keep an eye on Cisco. Nothing uh, majorly impressive here yet, but definitely something to pay attention to. Let's also take uh, keep our eyes, and, and just to let you guys know, I'm still probably very biased on this. I have a huge profit in this trade right now and uh, GLD. GLD, as we continue to print, and print our, uh, man, oh man, are we really printing. Um, um, as you can see, gapping up this morning a little bit on gold as we can con continue to um, devalue currencies by printing uh, printing more and gold is moving up. So I'm staying with that trade right now. It's looking really good um, and loving that chart. 
um, SLV, SLV gapping substantially higher this morning. Uh, once again, as we are devaluing our currency. So silver moving up sharply here this morning, looking good, loving that trade. Um, very nice profits in that position. And I'm still going to keep an eye on FCX. Now FCX, I did sell this position, took a profit on this, and this is consolidating in here. And you can see I've got my next alert on this chart. If this continues to rest in this area right in here, I wanna watch for that next opportunity for this to pop on out and continue moving up. Right now we're looking at a little bit of an increase this morning on that chart. Nothing major, but just a little bit of lift here this morning. So let's keep an eye on on um, FCX in case it comes around. Of course, you can always go to the, you know, to the big techs that uh, uh, right now, Microsoft, very, very bullish. Um, Google, extremely bullish. Amazon, um, remarkably bullish. <laughs> um, and as we continue to um, push these big tech giants to new highs, um, those are always potential bullish trades in here. They're just push, 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 um, and no, no pullback in these charts. So with that, everyone, hey, I want to wish you all a fantastic day. I want to wish you great profits in your trading. And everyone, please, 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 please protect yourselves. Be safe from this COVID thing. It is a nasty situation. And I want to see you right back here making money with us in, um, in the market. So everyone take care. Be safe. We'll see you right back here bright and early Wednesday morning. Have a good one, everyone.